Are you thinking about moving to one of the most beautiful cities in the world? You are in luck. I moved here four years ago and I have some thoughts. So what I've learned after four years living, Scottish people are just the best. They're very open and I think they have no shame. They will just talk to anyone about anything. Like especially the older generation, I freaking love it. You can go to a pub or even just like, I don't know, stand in a queue for the bus and someone will talk to you. I had so many hilarious encounters. They also really like their alcohol, like, Really. In Scotland it's legal to drink on a street, so and you will see a lot of people drinking alcohol just like on their way home on a Friday from work. <laughs> they just love to party. I live in a quite busy area and there's a lot of drunk people just roaming around the streets in the night and they just scream and the girls just cry and then lay on the ground and cry and fight. It's, I don't know, it's like a sight to be seen. They party a lot. Another thing about Scottish is that they're so open to like new cultures and I've never felt discriminated here like at all and they will actually consider you Scottish when you live here which is so nice because they say that like if you choose to live here and you share the struggles you are Scottish it doesn't matter where you were born and like I think they get really annoyed about like Americans that they're like I don't know eighth generation Scottish they've never been to Scotland and be like oh I'm Scottish because my great 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 grandfather was completely not Scottish um shut up <laughs> I don't know um that's what I've heard so yes people now let's move to um probably a subject that will interest you the most um weather is it that bad is it good is it me I think it's all of the above <laughs> Honestly, the weather is weird. You can have like all four seasons within one day. Like it's ridiculous. It can rain heavily and after like 10 minutes, sunny. But what I've learned here is if you're gonna wait for good weather to do something, you're never gonna do anything. <laughs> it's not that bad, honestly, but when it rains, it rains for like days and it's annoying. <laughs> it's not like it rains heavily. Sometimes it, sometimes it does, but usually it's just like, a little bit of rain mixed with a lot of wind and then you cannot even hold the umbrella and the rain goes into your face and all the clothes honestly the wind is actually the the most annoying thing here not the rain even honestly i can, I, I don't know how else to describe it it just goes through your clothes straight to your bones it's like m moist <laughs> humid and disgustingly cold it's bad and people say like, oh, you're from Poland, like you should be adjusted to cold. I used to say that to my um, Canadian friend, but it's not like that. In Poland, we have um, usually like dry cold. So it does snow sometimes and it could be like minus 20, but I still prefer that to like Scottish winter to be completely fair. And we don't really have like proper, very hot summer. There's like maybe one, two weeks when it's like 30 degrees, but then it's literally unbearable. All those houses here are built to retain the heat. So, there's no escape, there's no AC, it's hot on the outside, hot, hot on the inside. You're just basically melting. Mm, zero out of 10, don't recommend. But other than that, it's never really that warm. My favorite thing about summer is usually going out in the evening and it's still so warm, so you didn't need the jacket. Um, you don't really get that here. Um, the nights are not that warm. I don't mind because I don't like heat, but it's like, for example, my friend um, really hates the summer here, but summer here is like her only complaint, which I, don't really mind. My favorite season here is autumn. Oh my god. Scotland and especially Edinburgh was made for autumn. Like honestly, you feel like your main character in like a romantic comedy um, or like you're in Harry Potter set and you just want to walk around with like your coffee and in rain boots and like romanticized life. I don't know. It's just beautiful and makes you feel so cozy and just so nice. So if you're not scared of rain and you're like an autumn person, come here in like October. Beautiful. Okay, let's move on. Um, the other thing is food. I don't want to offend anyone, but um, if you want to ask for food recommendation, maybe ask your expat friends, not the locals. <laughs> Uh, sorry I said that but like you guys have such a bland taste in food I don't get it everyone is obsessed with katsu curry with for like for me it does not really have a lot of flavor it's just chicken breast with a sauce like I don't get the hype <laughs> sorry <laughs> there's a lot of good restaurants here but you need to know where to go British food especially Scottish it is a lot of like deep fried shit and everything is so beige and they don't really eat a lot of veg. I remember I used to work with this girl who 
wouldn't eat any vegetables. And we had like a cafeteria in our office and if they were making stir fry, she would ask them for another batch without the vegetables. No veg, a lot of deep fried stuff. But to be completely honest, I do like some of it. I love haggis. It's so good. Um, I love iron brew. A lot of people ask me, how does it taste like? Is it, is it like orange soda? It's, it's not, it tastes like iron brew. <laughs> it's hard. It does, like, I don't know how else to explain it. Iron brew tastes like iron brew. Come and check it out. But I do like it. Another thing, weddings. I was, I'm lucky enough to be invited to a Scottish wedding and it is very different than what I'm used to. So I don't know if it's all the weddings, but that's what I was explained uh, to by my Scottish friends. So you have like day guests and then evening guests and like day guests, they get to see you getting married and they have like dinner and stuff. And then the evening guests come, which is like people that are not so close to you. So like I was invited to my colleague's wedding um, and a bunch of uh, our co-workers as well. Um, so then you go in the evening and it's not really like a dinner, it's just like buffet and you have to pay for your own alcohol. And that would literally never happen in Poland. But also in Poland, you have to give a lot of money as a gift. Whereas here, when you're invited as an evening guest, you don't. But I don't know, like weddings in Poland seem like much bigger. I don't know, like in Poland, you party until like three, four, five in the morning. And then you have another day when you invite a guest and you eat leftovers and you still have party or you dance and uh, it's just crazy. Especially the alcohol part. I remember my friend when he moved to Edinburgh, he worked, <laughs> he worked at a he worked at the wedding venue, um, and no one told him that he needs to be charging guests for the alcohol, <laughs> um, and he was giving away um, drinks for free, and then uh, the manager kept coming and was like, "Oh, do you need any change?" And he was like, "Change? No." And then again, "Do you need any change?" And he was like, "No, I don't need any change. I'm okay." And then the third time. Then the manager realized that he was giving away all the alcohol for free. <laughs> because it didn't occur to him that it could be a thing that people have to pay for alcohol as a guest at the wedding. Which for me, it is still um, bizarre. Yeah, when we're on the subject uh, of weddings, let's go to dating. Um, <laughs> I think Scotland is being romanticized because of the movies and like Outlander and stuff like that. And it's really not like that. Really not. <laughs> really not especially like for people like me in your 30s um no i was so surprised but people in small towns around Edinburgh they grew up very fast like way faster than in poland and they have kids when they're like 20 or like 19 even that's my vibe but yeah going on um dating apps here is just mostly tourists and people like that from those small towns when they already had a lot of past <laughs> And also from my experience and experience of all my friends, men don't pay on a date, they split, which I guess is fine. I don't know how I feel about that. In my opinion, if you invite someone and you want to take it seriously, you want to impress someone, you're going to pay that £4.50 for a cider, I don't know. But also this, this, the style of the man here, it's not something that I was used to. Um, I really don't want to make fun of people. Typical British boy hairstyle with the bangs like that and skinny jeans. It's, um, why? Tell me, why? <laughs> but other than that, I highly recommend moving here. I love it and I hope you love it too. If you want to learn more about Scotland and just my view of the world and I talk a lot about living abroad and self-improvement, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.